Hi, I'm Dr. Khadija Booth Watkins with the Clay Center for Young Healthy Minds at the Massachusetts General Hospital. Talking to our young people about alcohol can be tricky for many different reasons. And the truth of the matter is, if we don't talk to them about the dangers of using, we trust someone else to have this very important conversation with them. The stakes are just too high, and this is way too important of a conversation to leave to someone else. These conversations should happen early and should happen often, well before you think they might be using. And whether or not you think they're using, it's okay to ask questions directly. We can't make any assumptions about what they're using, who they're using with, when they're using, how often they're using, or even why they're using. These are all questions that we have to ask. For example, the other night when you came in, you smelled like alcohol. I'm really concerned about your drinking and I wanna talk a little bit about it. Or the other day you asked for a sip of my beer. I said no, but I really think we should revisit this. What do you know about alcohol? Maybe when you're watching TV and you see some young kids drinking, you might just interject and say, you know all kids don't drink, right? And this could be a great segue to a conversation about drinking and the effects of alcohol on the young brain. Coming from a place of love and demonstrating warmth and compassion is gonna be critical to these conversations being successful. This should be a dialogue and not a lecture and try to be creative about how you talk and even where you have these conversations. And remember, keep it light, keep it brief. We don't have to cram everything about alcohol into this one conversation because we're gonna be having many of them. Well, I hope you found these little nuggets of information helpful and please, Keep the conversations going.